so these uh these videos are about life and i just want you to know that you're not all alone um amazingly my mom has bounced back in in ways that i never imagined possible um uh somebody from her church was just here uh, a friend of hers has visited uh, we had actually, I finally got Medicare engaged. Uh, um, they're going to be checking on her seven days a week. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it blows my mind because, you know, for when I got here Saturday of last week, you know, uh, me and uh, my stepsister, I won't give you her name, um, we're working on the whole situation. I mean, look at this. Central Hospice, Patient and Family Guide. And, uh, I even have a I even have a number that I can call 24 hours a day to to help my mother um, but I, I just wanted to tell you I mean it's a, it's a battle you know anywhere you go and um, I'm watching the whole Canadian trucker situation um, and that's basically all I'm doing I, I I wanted to go for a hike today I wanted to get some exercise uh, but unfortunately I had to stay home and you know well mom had a couple of visitors plus the nurse and you know so I all I'm doing is the death watch at this point, and uh, I'm sick of that. I'm, I'm sick of watching people die. Um, but anyway, at least it's not me. <laughs> All right, man. So, uh, you know, let's let's talk about things just a little bit. Uh, I tell you what, I, I, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the Canadian people. I mean, they have risen up, and they are fighting. I mean, I'm going to tell you what. I'm, I'm watching videos of people down in Ottawa, uh, um, I mean, that Trudeau fucking son of a bitch, he needs, he needs to go. He needs to go. I mean, and then hold the whole government, the whole Canadian government. How the hell did these guys get elected in the first place? I mean, it just seems like they're against the people. I mean, the whole nation just basically wants them to just exit, you know, be gone. And, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And, uh, and, and same with our government, you know, I mean, it, it's time for our federal government to go. I mean, or, you know, I honestly think that, uh, we're going to reach civil war here in the United States. Uh, I think Florida is going to tear away, uh, Texas, uh, Tennessee, probably South Carolina, uh, South Dakota. I mean, you name it. I think this nation's going to split up at some point and, uh, and we're just going to be done with the whole God doggone situation. Cause why are we sending money? Uh, to Washington, D.C. What's the point? What's the point? You tell me. Leave a comment below. Please, God, leave a comment below. Because I, I don't see why we're giving Washington, D.C. a gosh dang dime. You know, they're more worried about the Ukrainian borders than they are about the southern border. We got fentanyl coming across killing people in the United States. And yet, in Washington, D.C. does nothing. Nothing. Well, you know, Trump, at least Trump was building the wall. What's Washington, D.C. doing? nothing okay we got uh human trafficking coming into the country we've got criminals pouring across the border uh we got violent crime uh because of all the, the the cartels that are basically managing the drug trade and i imagine the politicians probably getting some kickbacks from all of that you know what's the point i say we need a convention of the states and let's just be done with the whole god dang thing you know and uh it, it's it's time it's time for the united states to just the civil war baby Civil War. Peace out. Stay free.